Hey everyone, it's Dylan. Uh, we're back again for another week here in the shop. We've got an exciting week again planned. Um, first thing we're probably going to do is we're pulling out another giant bass stone walnut slab. It's from the same tree that uh, this, the slab for JB's table came from. So you guys are really going to like to see that. It's a crazy, crazy piece of wood. It's going to be a dining table. Uh, there's a door installation that you're going to get to see this week. So we never ever showed a door installation. And you're also going to get to see uh, the process of us doing that second layer on the river rock table. Um, and last week we also asked you guys to leave a like on the video uh, because it helps us out and you did So we would really appreciate it if you guys could just leave a like and also don't forget to ring that little bell below to turn on Notifications so you guys know every time we post a video, but I hope you guys enjoy this week's video All right, we got the bass stone walnut slab pulled out here. Uh, this one is actually really thick just looking at it I think it might be a little over three inches uh, Compared to what they usually cut it at so that's good for us. We can have a thicker table when we're done um, it's pretty similar to the one for, for JB's table. It's actually a little more solid. There's not quite as much rot. The one on JB's I think had a big rotten edge there. Um, it's a little soft down here, but we'll get this thing lifted inside now and we got to start debarking all the edges on this. That's usually the way it goes. Oh, don't push. Careful. Yeah. All right. Here she comes. Coming. That's actually amazing, Dylan. Look at that. Wow. That now that we got that big slab pulled out, we're going to head off for a door install here. We're actually installing one of the maple doors you've seen us working on uh, in some previous videos. Uh, this isn't the black one. This is the, the lighter brown one that we're going to be installing. Uh, but we'll head on out. We have to rip out the old unit. Uh, there's a few challenges we're going to encounter that we already know about. Other than that, it should go smooth. So let us know if you guys like seeing this part of the process as well. installation here in Southwest Calgary. Uh, we had come in and I had completely prepared the rough opening previously had done all the blue skin and everything here and we've shown up and uh, kind of typical sometimes things don't go the way you want as much as I tried to make my job easy today the tile guy has gone a half to five eighths inside the drywall so we have to hand cut this out with the wheel grinder now just to add to the fun of our day so we'll keep you posted. Joe got all these rocks put in and then he right here Joe has the fancy rocks, fancy rocks. Um, these are gonna kind of be dispersed throughout 
a little bit, probably quite a bit less, obviously, we don't have as many of them. Yeah. Uh, we have to send a photo to the client first before we pour this and get their approval. Uh, but one thing you'll notice here is we've got no rocks in this little section. That's actually where our 45 degree miter is going to be, because yeah. you can't cut rocks with the saw. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joe's favorite rock. Ah, that's in my ears! <laughs> <laughs> This is the pour for that oil company. So we've got our kind of transparent black resin in here. We're about to pour it in. the end of the week. We got a lot done this week. Right here in front of me is the river rock pour, so it's been a few days now. Uh, I'll actually, I'll just stick my finger so you can see how hard it is at this point. You see it's still soft, right? Not hard yet. Uh, it's a little bit harder in the middle, but still a little bit soft, so probably by Monday this will be cured up enough to take this thing out of the mold and then start working on it. Uh, the first step we're probably going to do is flatten it on the CNC and then we have to cut that miter to give the waterfall effect and we're going to show that whole process because that's also something we've never shared with you guys before. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and we'll see you next week. It's going to be like ASMR.